Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a performance and tutorial for this really awesome no setup card trick that is definitely going to impress your audience. So I would start this one off by having my spectator give the deck a shuffle. Once they are done, I would have them choose a card. They can just call stop anywhere as I dribble off cards here. Let's say they call stop right here. Now, I would just have my spectator take a look at and remember their card with the selection memorized. We're going to go ahead and just lose this card somewhere into the middle of the deck. We'll give the pack some cuts. I will also give the deck a quick riffle shuffle. Now, I would first ask my spectator if they see their card at the top of the deck. I would ask them, is the three of clubs your selection? I believe they would say no. I'm also going to show them the card on the bottom, the Ace of Diamonds. Is this your card? Oh, it's not as well. So the bottom card and the top card are neither of my spectator's uh, selections. So we're going to deal with cards at the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is spread off cards. Now I would have my spectator keep watch for uh, their cards. So I'm just going to spread through and have them keep an eye out for their selection. I'm going to deal off some more cards here. I would have them also keep an eye out uh, for their card. So I don't think my spectator has seen their selection yet. Now what we're going to do is deal some more cards from the deck. And I actually have a card that I think is going to help me find my spectator. So the card that's going to help me, I believe, is the Nine of Hearts. And what I'm going to do is spell out that card using the deck. I'm going to have one card be each letter. So N I N E O F H E A R T S. You'll see the nine of hearts reveals itself right here, but obviously this nine of hearts is not my spectator's card. Uh, my spectator's card, um, you know, is one that they know and the deck is actually set up to help me find their card. I would hand the pack over to my spectator and have them do the same thing, but with their selection. So my spectator would go ahead and spell out their card, the King of Hearts, K-I-N-G-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. Just like that, the King of Hearts reveals itself right here in the deck. And guys, that is the card trick. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you watch the tutorial all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. This is a really clever card trick that should definitely be in your routine. So grab your deck of cards and let's get right into the tutorial. You're going to start this one off with your spectator giving the deck a shuffle. Once they are done, you're going to have them choose a card. After they select a card, you just need to control it to the top of the deck. I'll show you guys what I did in the performance. So I started dribbling off cards here wherever your spectator calls stop. You're going to have them take a look at the card. In the performance, you're just going to have your spectator look at the card at this point. But for the tutorial, we'll look at it together. In this case, we have the Queen of Spades. Now, after they have remembered the card, they're going to place it back. And you're going to take the other half of the deck and start dribbling cards from the bottom of their selection up to the top like so. This allows you to come over with your other hand, lift up from where you started dribbling those cards to get a natural uh, thumb break separating this half of the deck from where their selection is. Once you have got this break, what I did, I transferred it over to a pinky break in my other hand and I just cut all of these cards onto the table in a few packets. The last packet I pick up is from where that break is. And I place this portion right there on top and that controls their selection to the top of the deck I will leave a link on the screen right now and in the description of this video where I teach a couple other card controls so you can go ahead and learn those. With it on top, you can do a riffle shuffle or a couple false cuts just to really make it seem like you're mixing up the pack, but in reality, you have control of their card on top. From here, what you guys need to do is a double lift. You're essentially creating the illusion that you're turning over the top card. In reality, you're turning over two, so you're turning over you know, two cards as one again. I'll leave a link on the screen right now for a double lift tutorial and a new description. Once you are in position to do the double lift here, you're going to go ahead and do the double. You're turning over the two cards as one. So you ask your spectator, okay, 
is this top card, the Four of Diamonds, your selection? They're obviously going to say no. Then you're going to turn over the deck, and you're going to do the same thing with the bottom card. You're going to ask them, is this Six of Spades your selection? They're also going to say no. As you're saying that, you're going to slide off this Four of Diamonds. You'll see it right here. You're going to turn it face up. And then as you're making conversation and making some small talk, you need to casually turn over the deck to get a peek at your spectator selection, which is now... Uh, reversed on top of the deck because you did the double lift make sure you don't flash this though to your spectator and now what you're going to do is place the four right back on top but you're going to place it face down square everything up and now it looks like you just you know place that four right back on top in reality you have their selection reversed again keep this square turn the deck back over and tell your spectator you're going to start spreading out some cards from the bottom of the deck and you're going to have them take a look at uh, these cards and see if they um, you know, see their selection. Now, what you're doing here is very important. You're going to count off in your head one card per letter, and what you're doing is spelling the spectator's selection. So, once again, the card is the Queen of Spades. Now, in your head, this is what you're doing Q U E E N O F. And then you're going to spell out the suit. And you're actually, when you're spelling out their card here, you're going to be one card short. I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to spell out spades, but you're going to stop right before the S. So I'm going to spell out spade. S-P-A-D-E. That's where I'm stopping. You're going to be one card short when spelling out their selection during this first uh, part of the trick where you're spelling out these cards. Now, it's going to take a little bit of practice to kind of be doing that in your head while you're talking, but it's honestly not too bad. You just tell your spectator, okay, you know, I'm going to show you some cards near the bottom. You can honestly just kind of be silent at this part and do, do it quick in your head. Q-U-E-E-N-O-F-S-P-A-D-E. Once again, you're leaving off that last letter. Now, here's what you're doing next. You see this card here? It's a random card. The Eight of Hearts, this is the next card that you need to memorize. You're also going to be spelling out this one right now, dealing off one card per letter, but you're going to deal off the full thing this time. So you're going to go in your head, E-I-G-H-T-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. You are going to be dealing off the S this time. Now, this portion is going to be in your other hand. Again, during that part, you're just telling your spectator to look out for their selection they're obviously not going to see it. Now, you're going to want to keep this break because you're going to be cutting these cards to the bottom, but you can just also spread off a few more cards, show them, you know, or any of these, your card, they're again going to say no. Get back to the point where you have this break, cut these cards right to the bottom, just like this, and now you're ready to move on with the trick. Turn the deck over, and you're going to tell your spectator that you have a card in mind that's going to help you find their selection. This is the part of the trick where you reveal that eight of hearts. You're going to tell them, I think the eight of hearts is going to help me find your card. Now you're going to spell out the eight of hearts. One card per letter. You're going to go E-I-G-H-T-O-F-H-E-A-R-T. Then you're going to turn over the card that's here for the S and it'll be that eight of hearts. Your spectator is going to be pretty amazed, but you're going to tell them, well, you know, the eight of hearts here, that's actually not uh, your card. So I want to, um, you know, see if the deck is now set up to find your selection. You're going to hand the pack over to your spectator. This is really cool, and you're going to have them do this with their selection. Make sure they are clear on the instructions. They're going to go ahead and spell out their card. Q-U-E-E-N-O-F-S-P-A-D-E. S, after they deal off the S, the card will reveal itself. And if you guys, during that whole portion, were a card short, sometimes it may happen where the S is actually their card. That will be fine, but you do need to make sure you're only one card off while, you know, counting, or else um, you will not have enough or you'll be over the amount. So it will take some practice to, you know, do that spelling in your head while you're dealing off the cards. But once you get it down, it makes for a very powerful effect at the end here because their card will literally be staring them in the face and, you know, they are going to be completely blown away as to how it was in that position. So guys, that is the trick. I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely practice it a few times, but once you get the hang of it, it will work all the time and get some amazing reactions. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, expect more frequent uploads coming from the channel. I will see you in my next one.
Peace out.